Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Spirited Culture. It's your girl, Spirit. Ting! And I am back today shooting with you the pros and cons of using natural deodorant. Why I decided to make the switch years ago and how if you are curious, you too can implement some holistic ways of staying fresh and healthy. Before we get started today, we need to have a mantra, my favorite part. Today's mantra will be, I will stay bright even in dark times. Let's take a deep breath. I will stay bright even in dark times. You guys, when things feel like there's just no way out of them and like your troubles are piling up, remember that there is a light. It is within you. If you are still here, then that means a solution is still available to you. I love you guys. I thank you for checking in. Okay, y'all, so when I tell people that I use natural deodorant, I always get, whoa, girl, you bold. I could never, oh, next, nah. As if I've chosen to like let my left boob hang out every day. <laughs> But y'all, it's really not that big of a deal. I switched to natural deodorant three years ago, and more times than not, I'm told that I smell really delicious. So I will be sharing some of my favorite scents at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But um, I switched to natural deodorant because regular deodorant stops the body from doing what it naturally does. Let's face it, ladies. Sweat is a part of life. Sweat is necessary for your body. Your body sweats all over the place, and your underarms is one of your main glands for where sweat to come out. So when you use regular deodorant, the aluminum in that product stops sweat from coming, okay? So imagine this toxic water that's coming from your body, your sweat, has no chance of coming out now with the product that you're using. So what does it do? It begins to back up into your system the toxins are not being released from the body and instead they're being held inside of it so for me that is unnatural that is why i stopped and i have i'm no doctor i have no scientific proof no scientific facts okay i only can speak from my own experience and i do remember getting really hard painful balls underneath my armpits sometimes um i had a lion sister share with me who she gets waxed to take the hair off. She said that when she was waxing, there was deodorant coming from within her. Like deodorant had been piled up for years and years and when she was waxing, it was coming from out of her body. So imagine that this product is stuck, caking up, balling up. It's causing pain in me. It's showing up in other people. It can't be that good for you guys. And I have a heart feeling. I Again, I don't know scientifically, but I have a heart feeling that this toxin buildup in the body over 30, 40 years is what leads to breast cancer. Yeah, I said it. So that's why I have switched to natural deodorant. I've been doing an experiment with you guys, so I have my favorite natural deodorant. I have some other really bare mineral natural solutions, and then I've got some things that I don't like. Let's get into the products. Crystal Essence. This is an aluminum-free natural deodorant. This is my all-time favorite. I've been using it for years. You can find this at a local drugstore, okay, or a natural market. It is a roller ball. I'll roll it on and I'm good to go, okay? When it comes to natural deodorant, this is going to be your biggest con. You will feel your sweat. We're not used to that. I'm gonna say it. You are not used to feeling wet under here. You are not used to feeling sticky under here, but that's just what the body does. And you know what? If I gotta feel a little bit of wet, wet, so that I don't have breast cancer at 42, then I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? It's worth the risk to me. So I use Crystal at the gym. I use it to go to work. I never smell musty with Crystal. And if I ever do start to catch a little body scent, done keep it in your bag keep this in your bag there is nothing wrong with reapplying throughout the day we're not used to having to do that because of regular deodorant stopping the sweat but when you do for your sweat especially on hot days or especially on days when you have been moving around a lot physically then yes you may have to reapply don't be afraid of that my second favorite option this is gonna sound crazy but but lemon juice so my line sister who i said had been basically finding deodorant balls had also developed the painful lumps 
she switched over. She said, no more. I don't want to see why is that deodorant caked up in my body. She started using lemon juice. Okay. I know it sounds crazy as hell and ridiculous. So that's why I have used lemon juice for the past week before I made this video because I wanted to be able to be honest. It works. It works. The first night, I, did, I was very skeptical, and I did not develop a smell. It doesn't have a smell, really, either. It doesn't give you anything on there. Um, but I did feel a little bit sticky, so I wore it to work the next day. I was fine, and I can't reapply lemon juice. I am about to be in the bathroom like, you just take a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, um, so if you want to use the lemon juice, you would just basically pour a little bit out onto your fingers, rub it on there. I do not reapply this during the day, and I do not feel stinky during the day. Um, I even used it at the gym, y'all. I can't believe it. It worked. It really worked. And the bonus, bing, the bonus of lemon juice is that it helps to lighten. Lemon juice has lightening properties, which means that it will help lighten that darker skin that is uh, under there from shaving or from your hair follicles. Another option that you can use as natural deodorant is crystal mineral rock now this one's odd i get it these are all natural solutions so it does sound odd at first this is something that you actually wet you would wet it and then you would do this and i will say this one worked as well so that's three options that i absolutely love as far as natural deodorant goes i'm sure there's a ton more um and then i've got two options that did not work for me but you may want to try because they might work for you number one coconut oil so I used coconut oil overnight as my first trial. All of these got used overnight because I sweat in my room. My room warm. My room warms up. And so if I smell stinky in the morning, then I already know I ain't about to use it through the day. This little bit, this one, I was smelling stinky. By the time I woke up, I said, coconut oil, you have done absolutely positively nothing. I will never try you again as my natural deodorant, but thank you. And last is Queen Helene, as well as Tom's. These are sold in stores. These are natural deodorants. Y'all, they made my pits burn. I didn't like them. Didn't like them one bit. It might work for you. You might have a different kind of skin. Might have a bit more uh, stronger skin than I do, but I'm very sensitive all over my body. So if something makes me burn, I'm not going to try it. But I did want to offer these options to you just in case you want to give them a try. So that's it. My pros for natural deodorant is no breast cancer and your body gets to do what it does to release the toxins every day. If you are drinking a lot of water, as you should be, then you should be sweating a lot. Don't be afraid to sweat, ladies. Do not be afraid to sweat. It is not unladylike. It is natural. And if any man or woman has a problem with you sweating, then they also have a problem with themselves. And you ain't got to get breast cancer for them. Move on. Do you smell me, baby? I didn't think so. So it doesn't matter. The cons of using natural deodorant is you feel your sweat. You feel your sweat. You might feel a little sticky. You might start to smell your body a little bit, but all you got to do is reapply it. And you decide for yourself what's worth it to you, the health or the, the look. I know we are so used to trusting the products that we grew up with, the products that we see on TV. But just keep in mind that these big companies care more about their pockets and taking from your wallet than your actual well-being all right the last thing that i want to share with you is my three cents that i keep with me no matter what so i wear natural deodorant for years now and i'm always told that i smell good and it's because i keep an arsenal with me so before i leave the house i always use a main perfume this is the degan voltaire very fruity i wish i could like give you a i wish i could give you a whiff through the camera but i can't so i use my main perfume before I leave the house every day. Then in my handbag, I keep a body spray and a roll-on, all right? The roll-on is for like, when well, you know you're about to hug up on somebody or you're about to walk up into a venue and someone's gonna be real close to you, hit them with the roll-on. This is still smells like a perfume, a lot stronger of a scent. But also, if you've just been walking around outside and you have been out with your friends, maybe you're out at a music festival, you don't want to be spraying your perfume bottle a thousand times. You want to spray something a little bit more inexpensive. This is Sicilian Sunrise from And Other Stories. It smells 
heavenly like a whole heaven i spray this in hotel rooms i spray this everywhere um i keep a little a little spray with me and that's where the whole body shake down i've been outside i ain't trying to smell like outside the roll-on that i have is from zara it's the orchid roll-on it's six dollars six dollars and it's bomb as heck y'all so basically what i'm saying is you can go natural it can still smell like the fruit the the fruity delicious beautiful sensuous sumptuous scrumptuous flower that you are thank you guys for watching if you have any other options to use for natural deodorant drop them down below put the worlds on show your face let us hear your voice and uh if you like this video then like the video and make sure to subscribe subscribe to spirited culture i will be back with more helpful useful content send you all my love all my light and wishing you the best bye